Hi guys, today we're going to be solving AP1 scores clump. So the problem states, given an array of scores sorted in increasing order, return true if the array contains three adjacent scores that differ from each other by at most two, such as with 345 or 355. Alright, so there's a lot of ways to solve this problem, but the way I'm going to solve this problem is by looking at values in the array in sets of three. I'm going to be looking at the first value in the set of three and the last value in the set of three. We know that this is going to be in increasing order and we have to return true if they differ from each other by at most two. So this middle value is really doesn't really matter. It's kind of irrelevant and we kind of want to just check these the first and the last value in the set of three. If we subtract the second value by the, uh, if we subtract the very last value in the set of three by the very first value, and if that's at most two, then we want to return true. Like in this example, if we look at one, three, five, we if we subtract five from one, we see that's four. Four is greater than two, so that set of three wouldn't work. However, we look at 355. Five. If we subtract 5 from 3, that's 2. And this middle value is really irrelevant because this map middle value is going to be somewhere between 3 and 5. So if the very last value subtracted from the very first value doesn't work, then we'll return false. Okay, so to do this, we're going to need to run a for loop. And we want to, since we're going to be checking the very first index and the very last index, somewhere in our co code, we're going to want to do scores i minus 1. That's why we want to start at index 1, and not 0, because otherwise we'll do index out of bounds. So i is less than scores dot length. And we're also going to be doing we're also going to be looking, we're going to be comparing i minus 1 and i plus 1. So we also want to subtract 1 from our total iteration so we don't go out of bounds. So we want to check if scores i minus 1, that's the very first value in the set of 3. If, I, if scores i plus 1 minus scores i minus 1. So at the very is less than or equal to 2, then we want to return true. So what this if statement is right here, so if scores i plus 1, so in this example, i will be 1, right? So if scores at index 2, 5, minus scores at index 0, i minus 1 is 0, 3, 5 minus 3 is less than or equal to 2, we return true. Because this middle element in the set of three is irrelevant in this case. If we iterate through the entire for loop and we never return true, that means there is no possible set of three that differ by each other at most two. All right, let's see if this let's see if this code works. All right, it does. Good job, guys.